This was my life five years ago, looking for opportunities somewhere in Bangkok. Fast forward to today, marking my fifth year here in Bangkok. And here I am, living the dream. Ahoy! Today I'm going to tell you how I got through the five years of living in Thailand and also give you three tips that helped me through the toughest moments of living in Thailand. Why did I make this video in the first place? I've received many messages from people who want to live in Thailand, whether it's for a retirement or simply to start a new life here in Thailand, which I fully recommend. Also, I heard from people feeling lost in life, seeking motivation. So I decided to help you by sharing my story and how I got through the toughest moments of life in Thailand. Dear diary, it's been five years in Thailand. Wow, already five years? Times fly so fast. Five years ago, I was lost, struggling to find myself. I spent all life trying to achieve this dream of living in Thailand that I was dreaming for so long. And today I'm writing down this page as the happiest person in the world. I hope so. My journey to Thailand began with visualization. I always visualized good things. I always visualized victory, success. I visualized it all and it's all happened. I've arrived in Thailand five years ago with big dreams, but little to no savings. It was definitely the biggest decision of my life, but I was sure it would work. It must work. I've seen myself in this moment for many times for years. Yes, visualization played a key role in my journey to Thailand. And you might be thinking now, what are you talking about? Visualization is just nonsense. You might be right, but everything has to start with a big dream, something you can picture in your head and which push you to work hard. I picture myself living in Thailand and it pushed me to do everything for it. Now grab a pen and ask yourself, what do I really want? Write down your answer. Writing costs thinking and thinking creates an image. And now as you get these images going, you are building a vision in your mind. Remember, visualization is not just about the dreaming. You still need to work hard to achieve your dreams. I visualized it all and it's all happened. First year in Thailand was the hardest. I had to adapt to the completely new city, new culture, new people. And I didn't have any friends here. I didn't have any connections here. And everything was completely new to me. As my life was slowly settling down, I finally found friends and I got used to the new culture. And then, bam. As the news spreads of China's mystery illness, so too does the unknown virus. Breaking news, the first death from coronavirus here in the United States. COVID hit the scene, turning everything upside down. My dreams, my income, you name it. I didn't know what to do next. With my limited savings, I would not be able to live in Bangkok for long. So I had to think fast. My mindset was shifting towards negativity and I struggled to find any positive aspect. I had to quickly find solution. Think, Dennis. Think fast. I always told myself. So I started reading books and listening to podcasts. More I read, more I paid attention to the positive stuff. And it slowly started to change my life. One big lesson that stuck with me was the idea that life is 10% what happens to us and 90% how we react to it. Which made me think how you react to your problems will directly affect your life. Your reaction determines your life, which directly determines your success. So I started to think about solutions, not the problems, and it worked. Next time something tough happens to you, how you handle those problems can change your life and impact how successful you became. When the COVID restrictions finally ended, I began living life I had always imagined. I visualized it all and it's all happened. I immediately started working, traveling and truly lived my life. The lessons I learned during the toughest times are now a part of my daily life and I feel stronger than ever. Then after a while, I started to realize that my mindset was slowly shifting again towards negativity. I questioned myself why, considering I had amazing life and then random YouTube video pop up. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. It made me think that my mindset could be 
negative because of people around me. So I try to stick more with myself, keep negative people away, and it worked. Choosing the right people to be around is essential for your life and mindset. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. So you too, find right people to surround yourself, those who believe in you and your dreams. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. So choose your friend carefully. Be with people who make you feel good and add positivity to your life. The right friends can make really big difference. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content from and about Land of Smile. Ahoy!